Hi, this is David at Winco, and this is part two of our tutorial on 2D barcodes for the HIBCC. And in this part, we're going to add the human readable to the barcode. You can see this is the label that we produced in the last video, and here's the barcode, but no human readable yet. The HIBCC standard asks for the human readable to be like this, with the data identifier, then the data, another data identifier, the data, and so on, all concatenated together. But if I go back to my label and I turn on the human readable for the barcode, you can see there's a lot of formatting characters, the message header, and basically things that we don't want. So that's not really going to work. So let me show you how I do it. There's probably different ways of achieving the same thing. You may have some, some better ideas. So the good news is I'm actually allowed to do this human readable in more than one line, because um, just one line's not going to fit on my label. So what I'm going to do is choose my font, and I'm going to choose the Arial font for what I want what I want to do here and point size let's say 10 point to start with and I'm just going to choose a single line of text and stick it down on my label in about the area I want I want it to be and just like in the barcode we're going to use a number of these separate little data sources to do to do this and the first one is going to be basically the first data identifier, the 25P in parentheses, and that's going to be followed by the second one, and this is all going to be em embedded data. So this is the RH, the issuing agency code for HIBCC, and that's going to be followed immediately by a bit more embedded data, and that's going to be a named source, which is the labeler code. As before, it's our A999. And I add another one of these, which is also embedded data. And this is going to be the part number. So I scroll down through my pieces of information, and I find the part number. <laughs> so that's the first part done. The next part is that packaging level indicator, and that one has the data identifier of 26Q, and then, oops, I missed something here, let me just quickly go back, I forgot the parentheses, that's what comes of trying to do this too early in the morning. So my 26Q, and I add another data source, embedded data, you kind of see a trend here, right? And this one is the pack level. And in this line, I'm going to add just one more, which is going to be the lot number. So again, embedded data and 1T, I believe it is, for the lot number. Let me just double check that. Yes. And I add yet another data source. And one of the nice things with Bartender is it's very easy to make up complex um, items purely by adding these separate little data sources. And the batch lot, hit on close, and I can move my piece of human readable to kind of line up where I want it, okay? So then I'm gonna add another line, which is a single line object, and I move my cursor to approximately where I need it. I open the properties, and in this one is going to be the two dates. The first one being the manufactured date, and the data identifier for this is 16D. Remember the parentheses for that one? Makes a change, right? And embedded data. And again, this is a named source, so I look in here for manufactured date, MFD. MFG date, and here we have that. I add another data source, which is embedded data again, and this is the data identifier for the expiration date, which is 14D. Add a data source to that, embedded data, and I choose the expiration date. So now I can close this, 
and just align, align this kind of with the other one. It's easy to align things in Bartender as well. And I need to go back to my original line because I'm still in that forgetting the parentheses mode. So I put the parentheses around the one T. Click on close, and there we have it. Here's my HIPC um, data matrix barcode, and here's two lines of human readable formatted in the way that it needs to be for the standard. So I hope that's helpful, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Thanks.